So I just wanted to show you guys this little technical marvel. Um, it's, ah, there we go, focus. All right, so it's a block. And what it does is it's pretty amazing in how it works. It's sort of like a pommy stone. And mud in winter, this is great for getting it off. And all you do is just put it on here and go in the direction of the fur, like that, and it gets off all the mud. It dissolves while you're using it, so don't panic if you start to see little powdery residue come off it, because that's what's meant to happen, that's how it works. Um, so this is pretty much all you do. Just go with the fur and it cleans off. I don't know if you're picking up on camera the dust that's coming off the uh, pommy stone. But all these dried bits of mud like that, you just do this with it and it loosens it and it comes off. But you've got to go in the direction of the fur. So. That one's a bit dried on, there we go. And all this dry, dry mud that's in the fur is great for getting that stuff out of the coat. And it tends to work a lot better on mud that's dried versus like fresh, wet mud. Um, and they only cost about three pound. So, I'm not exactly breaking the bank. I just opened the gate so Hope can get out. And for these winter months, I can totally recommend you guys getting some because they are an absolute godsend when it comes to, good girl, when it comes to getting the mud off their coat. And if I was to give you the name, that is what it is. It's called a grooming block. And it removes loose hair, dried mud, and bot eggs for sleeker coats uh, by Lincoln. Um, this particular one cost me £3.60. Um, but it is amazing for these winter months. Uh, as you can see, Hope is very clean considering the amount of mud we have on site um, so yeah that is why because of this uh, because of this grooming block and this is what it looks like and as you can see it's it's quite soft just doing this and you can already see where it's worn away a little bit, even you know, where my finger's been rubbing on it. So yeah, it's very soft, it's not really abrasive at all. Where my finger's been rubbing, it's already created a little, uh, a little indentation there. So yeah, can totally recommend getting one of these gizmos um, for getting dried mud off your horse, especially when your site looks like muddy. Yes, they're an absolute godsend. Totally recommend them. Cheap as chips and do an amazing job. Thanks for watching guys. Stay safe. Bye.